Hey YouTube, uh, just wanted to make a quick video of my plein air painting setup that I take out with me every year. I've been painting from life for 30 years and uh, one of the biggest questions I get in workshops is what do I bring? What do I need? So I'm going to try to get one whole shot of everything that I bring when I go out plein air painting because up here in New England it's starting to get a little bit warmer and I'm excited about getting out to the summer and this spring and uh, I just wanted to go over everything before I take it out so I usually lay it all out like this and this time I figured I'd make a quick video so uh, let's start down here at my range finders I use a selection of different ones I uh, value comps and uh, just little gadgets to help me compose compositions uh, this one right here is from Easel L this is Easel L Easel L this is a little one I got from Jerry's Artorama many, many years ago, this gray one. This little bag that just carries them. Let's see, it's got some use on it. Peggy Kroll is an awesome artist who, uh, who invented this thing, which is great. It's got a mirror. It's got a red value comp. It's got a, uh, a composition finder and a grayscale. And uh, you throw it around your neck when you're outside with this lanyard and it works great. It comes in this little pouch. It's 25 bucks on our website, PeggyCurl.com, I think, uh, or you can just Google her and find her. I got some uh, distilled turpentine. I love using these little uh, Klein bags. They're like, you get three of them for like 20 bucks, and uh, I put paint in them and all kinds of stuff. Uh, pencils, it just helps me organize stuff in my bag when I'm out there. This is a gadget that was invented by an artist that it's a one-of-a-kind thing. It's awesome. It's, I treasure it. It's, it's a defocusing uh, lens. So, you now it sounds crazy, but when I'm outside, all it is is just an out-of-focus pair of glasses. And uh, when I'm outside, it just blurs the landscape for me, and I hold it up to my face. And uh, it works really well. And uh, I love it. I treasure it. That usually goes with me if I'm careful with it. Uh, some medium that I use from uh, Rublev. Velasquez medium. I always maintain a clean brush when I'm out there and you need to have you know a place to put your thinner and your uh, your medium and uh, two two wash basins that I hang off my, my easel. Uh, industry standard Raymar panel holders. I have three different sizes 16 by 20, 12 by 16, I think that's like uh, 6 by 8 a bag for gloves, and uh, when I'm out there, you know, just nice to have, you don't want to get a mess. I just started using them, actually. <laughs> uh, sunscreen, and what I don't have up there is, uh, I don't have bug spray. I like to take bug spray and spray the ground around me sometimes, if it's really bad, and it keeps uh, ticks off, you know, hopefully off you, that are around here in the east. That's my LL bean bag, uh, boat tote. It's my trusty old bag. It has been with me for 10 years, and it holds all of this stuff. It's huge. I've become a big fan of the Land's End boat totes too because they uh, they have pockets inside, but this one will hold all of this gear. I use the Coulter painting system. It's one of my favorite uh, right now. Because <laughs> that sometimes changes. I gotta. Soltech easel over there that's sitting in the corner collecting dust that I spent 500 bucks on. But uh, I always go back to this one. It just seems to be one of the best well rounded easels out on the market. That's where I hold all my paint in that big climb bag. This is the paint that I take out. This is a great idea. This brush bag is from Duluth Trading. And I've been on the search for this bag here was from Utility Canvas. And it was like one of the best bags I've ever, one of the best brush holders I've ever had in my life. But uh, I, uh, it's getting frayed. It's getting old, as you can see. You know, it's pretty tattered, and I love it. You know, I, I've been taking this out with me for almost 25 years. I called Utility Canvas, and they don't make them anymore. So I found uh, from Duluth Trading a utensil. This is a utensil bag to hold utensils, forks, knives, spoons when you're camping, but it holds long handled paintbrushes. Awesome. It's like 20 bucks, comes in 20 different colors. Highly recommend it. 
works great, holds a ton of brushes. Uh, some just Raymar panels that I just threw out there. Great, great panels. I love them. They're my favorite. This is the inside of my Coulter. Give you an idea how much it's used. And uh, that's it, folks. YouTube. Uh, hope that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, definitely just drop me a line. I don't mind answering them. You know, I've been doing this a long time, and I love to share my knowledge. Take care now.